Let's start off with the dining table, but first we will set our workspace. Open the following panels, properties, object tree panels, generate texture coordination, show material libraries and manage scene materials, drag the edges of those panels shrinking the viewport. This will make the real-time render much faster. Now as simple as that, drag selected materials onto the object. If the object contains texture coordination exported with it, Composer will be able to read it. If not then we can always use Composer's own texture coordinator. Notice the coordination in the edges of the table are not satisfying. Let's learn how to coordinate it. Hold Ctrl and select the parts then go to the Texture Generation panel. Choose Box and make sure Group Objects and Cape are checked. This will treat all selected objects as one object and that's when the squash texture on the edges of the table will average with the other parts of the table. Change the U and the V values for the amount of tiles if you want. Hit RT icon to admire your work and make sure everything looks the way it has to be. If you decided on changing the material, the coordinates will remain untouched, so feel free to do so. Notice the materials changing in the panel instantly. You can also drag the materials straight into there, as well. Keeping the RT on sometimes can help us tweak different settings fast and easy. Let's move to the vase on the fireplace. This vase will be a black glass with a Chinese gold drawing in the center. To do that we need to create a decal. Go to menu bar, create, decal. In order to place an image on an object, otherwise called a decal, we have to set, four corners. One center, object and image, then hit generate. Select image called golden seal.png. One common mistake is not selecting the object before generating.
I will keep the RT turned on, so I will see results instantly. In order to drop a material onto the drawing, without losing the image, you must hold shift while dragging and dropping the material. Now let's move to the clock. This object contains other objects inside of it. Using the hide and show can be useful. Don't pay much attention to that. We will learn how to tweak properties later on. I just changed the mirror alpha to 0.1. Hit H to hide the glass. Double click, then hit S to show entire clock assembly. Now finally the fireplace, let's start with the firewoods. The whole model has one material slot, we want to separate the wood slot from the net, from the fireplace itself. To do so just drag the desired material to the scene materials panel. A new slot of that material will automatically be created, hold control and select the firewoods. Select the slot then hit the Assign button. Let's add texture to the firewood. Select any object assigned to that emitting material. Then go to the Properties panel and add the image called Firewood. We are going to tweak some parameters, try to follow along. Remember that we will have a separate tutorial covering up the properties. So don't worry much I only was adding the amount of light and the glow of the texture itself. Let's change the firewood texture coordinates. While that let's also learn how to select the whole firewood faster. Select the firewood through scene material panel, since they all fall under one material slot. First select the slot, then hit the icon to select by material, it's the third icon from the right. Now we will change it, so the texture will be distributed on the entire firewood just like we did with the table previously, but our goal here is to get rid of repetition. Patterns can really mess up realistic render shots. As for the net, select it, add image called net.png and then add a metallic material.
Now the last thing we are going to add to this scene is a marble texture to the fireplace. But the texture coordinates aren't exported right? Double click the fireplace to select entire assembly then hit the isolate mode icon. Hide the net and firewood. Add texture to see how the coordinates are messy. Now we should break the fireplace into small pieces. Double clicking to select here will include the hidden net and firewood. You don't want to affect them while doing change on the fireplace. The best way here is using the rubber band selection. Hold ALT and then drag with the left mouse button. After that go to menu bar, tools, geometry, break faces, repeat the procedure to make sure everything is broken apart as possible. as we did for the table and the firewood, let's distribute the texture across the broken faces. Hit apply in the texture panel. Those parts which don't look right can be selected separately and dealt with individually. The trick of breaking the faces is turning one object into many little objects. Congrats! The scene is all done. Exit isolate mode, then show the hidden object. I will take a nice angle and hit the RT icon. This was the last of Scene and Renders chapter. Thank you for watching, have fun.